Take three. We'll see if we can get there this time. All right, come on. Oh. All right, so I will take the play. Here we go. Point. Come on, cast of balance. You can do this. One time. Do it for me. One time. Here we go. Come on, slay. Oh. Oh. This is, uh, risky. I don't think I'm actually supposed to keep this hand. As much of a, as I like it, only has that to get me by. So mm. I think I'm supposed to shove it, actually. Oh, Troy. Yeah. Mm. Alright, I'm not... It, it does let me stall for a while. Okay, we're just going to try this as a matter of experimentation. So I will keep, and I have two chance of the annexes. So, we have this going. Your first spell you cast is countered unless you pay one twice. Alright, so I will play an Ancient Spring, obviously tapped. This is the Esper one, and pass the turn. The Esper Sack Land. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get the cord out from my camera to help it charge just a wee little bit. Right. Go ahead. Oh, well, that was quick. Go ahead. Speaking of being quick, that was a turn. He has stuff, I think. Get in. There we go. Alright. What you got? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I'll get that. I'm sorry, I can't... That's a Phyrexian Revoker? revoker? Yeah. Oh, you're having it be countered. Okay, fair enough. So, they're back in the hand... Well, they were in the hand, but you get the idea. Alright. Woo! That's turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Buddy, not, not here, not now. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, pass turn. No, this is not the draw you are looking for. Yeah. All right. Cavern, what would you like to name? Uh, Humans. Core. Core. Oh, okay, I see a. I see a Stoneforge Mystic. T3 Stoneforge Mystic coming out. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh, uh, but let's resolve her trigger. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Duh. It's okay. We all we do that first because what you get might determine what the other person does later on in the turn. It's a better school. Okay. And we are competitive Ariel. This is playtest Ariel. This is casual Ariel. This is kitchen table Ariel. Literally kitchen table. Alright. That is, uh. Probably too late to matter, but I think we're gonna force it anyway. Go ahead. Sulfur Vent, the Grixis one. Sure. Pass turn. I have made a horrible mistake. Alright. 
You can wait till the end of my turn, if you'd like. That's usually what players will do. Wasteland. Ooh. I... My mistake is... Not as bad as I would have thought. Float Orzov. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Alright. Go ahead, and now we drop Batter Skull. Your turn. Batter Skull. Yup. Seems good. There was a lot that, that Han was doing to stall the game, but. If you can't draw lands, <laughs> not so much. Yeah. yeah, and also, it's a pretty good card. Probably game. We'll float just to make sure. Float is it? Mm. I'm probably dead. In for four. Bip, 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 bip. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, I guess I totally played that wrong. Oh well. You passed turn. Somehow, I don't think it'll matter. Then you could have countered it. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. What's well, done is done. And I already kind of revealed what I have. You don't have flash. Uh, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> but you see so, all these force of wills that <laughs> don't actually matter at this stage in the game. Uh, hard. Go ahead. Right. Come on. That's game. Need a land. Need a land in there somewhere. So I kept the hand anyway just because I wanted to try a hand with that much. It had two chances of the annex force of will. It might have actually had another force of will. So it was a it was a really resilient hand on that front, but it only had one land. And I wanted to try it for the sake of seeing what it would be like. That's not usually how the deck works out, but there are there is a reason to run force of will. There's a reason to run chancellor. I wanted to have those occasionally, mm -hmm. and I wanted to see what the extreme of that would be like. All right, let's see what we're doing here having a nice little conversation in the intermission about vintage and whatever else we felt like. Here we go. Sideboarding. That was the other big one. Talking about what his deck can do against mine. My deck is not particularly well situated going to sideboards against you. Though, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to guess not particularly well. Not for me. Although, look at all of this. Yeah, um... Let me turn this around so I can show everybody what's going on. We have all of this. That's nice. So we are, I think, pretty well situated, actually. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep. Hard keep. Mm-hmm. I'll keep. Alright. Let's start off with... An irrigation ditch, and we'll pass the turn. Um, Can't let you do that, okay. Star Fox. 
Give me at 19. Good. Now, clearly, he wouldn't keep that hand off of just Rashad and Port. So trying to go on the Armageddon plan here probably isn't going to go too well. There are times when Death and Taxes players will do that if they think it's that the creatures make it worth it. I don't think that this is one of those instances. I really don't think so. I would be exceedingly surprised. So we're going to play a Tender Farm tapped, mm -hmm. pass the turn. Yep, there we go. Don't flinch. I can live with that. Okay, we're good. Well, it's in there somewhere. Where's that? It's not in your hand, right? <laughs> no, it's not in my hand. I've done that before. Oh, there it is. I hate to admit. Hey, batter skull. Okay, there you are, stuck buddy. Another card. Fair enough. It happens. And then you'll pass the turn. See. Ah, Missy. That's a different language. All right. Cool. That sounded fierce. All right. Blue, green, white, red. Herpes, my derpus. Shardless agent. Let's cascade. Whee! There's only one thing it can go and hit. And it's not Ancient Spring, it's not Sulphur Vent, it's not Ardent Plague, it's not Tender Farm, it's not Deny Reality again, it's not Cathartic Remnant, it's not another Tender Farm, it's not Archaeological Dig, it's not Crystal Vein, it's Restore Balance. Alright, alright, so at the time this is on the stack, I have no lands, I have no creatures, and I have four cards at hand. How many Six. do you have? Six? Alright, you'll discard two. Blip. And then, Shardless Agent comes down, like the boss that it is. Boink. And then I'll play a land. It's Archaeological Dig. Alright. Cool. Then I'll pass the turn. Ah, oh, no, he has a land. Oh, no. Ooh, makes sense. Uh, float for blue. Go ahead. Okay, fair enough. Two? Yep. Archaeological dig. Pass turn. Iganjo Castle. Okay. Swords. Ooh. I'll gain two. You are exiled, buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh oh, got there. Hi, mom. Go ahead. You're not my mom. Ancient Springs. Pass turn. No point in trying to hide it in the hand. It's obviously the top deck. <laughs> You're not my real mom. Alright. This is the Esper one. This one makes colorless or one of any color. So theoretically, I can cast whatever the heck I want. Yeah, okay, that's that's exactly the right answer. Jeez, all these wastelands. All right. Crystal Vein. 
which ought to be even stronghold. Watch it make a difference. It doesn't right now, spoiler alert, but we'll see. Pastor. Hit me for night. Hit me two nineteen. Hit me four nineteen. Wow. It is one <laughs> Mother of Rings goes into the grand finals against Grizzle Brands. That was a thing. I need to show you that video. It was a ignoring the mechanics of the cards, just looking at the flavor. Who would win in a fight? Mother of Runes versus Nimble Mongoose was round one. I guess it was actually, and then the other was Grizzlebrand versus Emrakul. So Mother of Runes and Grizzlebrand won their respective rounds and had to go against each other. This seems a little bit unfair. <laughs> and Cedric Phillips at this point is dying laughing. All right. Uh huh. We are going to pass the turn. Eighteen all. Go ahead. All right. Irrigation ditch. S or er, this is banned. Pass turn. Seventeen. Okay. What do you say? Go ahead. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Likewise. Six. Six, okay, likewise, I mean. Five, I'll be at five in just a moment. Assuming I go through with this. Which I think I want to. Go white colorless blue. That might actually be that's the better way to do this. We're gonna go white colorless or blue, white, blue, colorless. But you're getting sacrificed. Ardently, I have to cascade. Blood braid. Da 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 da. Let me make sure. Put the removed cards. All right. Until you remove a non. Okay. So, just making sure this works the way I think it works. Now I refuse to cast it. They're all just going to get shuffled back in. So I have an order to play out now. Cool. Yeah. Doesn't do anything out on its own, but. There's obviously a reason. Spoiler alert. And then I'll pass the turn. Spoiler alert. Human. Yep. Hi, Thalia. I laugh at you. Gonna hit me for one? Good. Uh, hi, Mom. Green, blue, colorless, colorless, shardless agent, one floating. Now, cascade. It's going to take a while because I know that that restore balance is way down there because we just did a number on it. Wee, 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 wee. This may take a little bit. Right, where's Evangeline when you need her to help us with the sound effects? Hey, there it is. Okay, so there's the second one. Um, this is on the stack. By the way, these are gone. So, no lands, no creatures. 
And then Charlotte's agent hits the field and says, Roar. Uh, I... Just shuffled all of this in, didn't I? Where did that... There's the second restore balance. You're actually over here. Okay, I messed up. I was only supposed to shuffle the ones that uh, came across that I came out before restore balance. So I messed that up. Oops. Wait a minute. No, these were all of them. This is. Okay, thank goodness. We're, it's late. It's like 11 o'clock over here. So th those were the ones. Everything else was left. Whew! Okay, pastor. Game three? Game three? Okay. We got there. We got there, shardless agent. And then draw a bit, and draw a bit, and draw a bit, and draw a bit, okay. Last one for the night, my friend? Mm-hmm. I'm absolutely with you on that. I still gotta get showered and get my clothes dried. Uh, fine. I just have morning work, so. Well, I go in at eight. Oh, you. Yeah. So does Robbie. And my internal clocks all kind of messed up. <laughs> so I'm not helping. I'm not helping at all. But you'll be on the play this time, so we'll. I'm gonna put the odds on you having this one. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. I went from ooh to ooh mm -hmm. real quick. All right, so let's. See. I'm gonna keep this because I think that this is actually going. This is better than going to six, but that is a lot to work with. That is too much. And then we have you, so we do have a pathway. I'm gonna hope that that's it. And while you're doing that, I'm going to sort these out into the ones I know I'll need. Blip, blip, blip. You got it. <laughs> it's getting late over here. Which, as we all know, is when the best magic takes place. The most high-level magic takes place at Dark 30. Do you think? Go ahead. Alright. <laughs> yeah, about that. Sounding like uh, Pastor Nyanta from Log Horizon? Yeah, about that. Human. 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 That's a card. That's a... That can't be good. That can't be good. Right on time. Which is to say, far too late. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but... I think we have to do... Ancient Spring? Pass. If you're thinking about wastelanding, yes. The answer is yes. Always yes. Especially when you already have a board presence. What's the other one, though? I have uh, Bant and Esper are my two. My two sack lands. Oh, yeah, yeah. One generates. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll float Simic, because that's what you're supposed to do, I think, but yeah, that, that's that's a thing. Hit me for two. For two. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright. Mom. Hi, Mom. Go ahead. Play another irrigation ditch and pass the turn.
Ooh, you can hear my ankle pop now. Ugh. I can feel it. Horizon canopy. Okay. Pay one. Yep, makes sense. Uh, nope. Force of will <laughs> pitching misdirection. I don't want to die. I, I'm betting that's going to name zero. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh, and there we go. Paying, paying for force of will because of the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. We, we caught it. We caught it. I'll take three. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. Crisis averted. That's a thing, I guess. I uh, know it's not. I cannot do what I want without going a little bit too far out of my way. But I think it's okay in this case. We're gonna go archaeological dig. Oh, J, J, J. There is a risk here. There is a risk. You've already been burned on this once. You know, you need to be careful. Yeah. Oh well. What's well, done is done. Yeah. So I should not have played the archaeological dig. The archaeological dig makes another card in my hand playable. But the issue is that if I try that, I take a risk of failing once again, of going into that card. At a time when it will actually kill me if I do. So... <sighs> but, if this were an actual game, I've played the dig, it's done, we're gonna do it. Dig for red. And statistically speaking, this is the most, this will work, or at least is more likely to work than to not. So Bloodbraid Elf, we're going to Cascade. Alright, come on, Jack. Don't get punished for this one. You're messing up. I say messing up, but it all depends on how this works. They have, once again, I hit Ardent Plea before I hit Shardless Agent or Restore Balance. Well, I'll pay the one for the Ardent Plea, but there's no point in... Actually, I do have to Cascade. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're going to get to see it, but I can't play the Restore Balance here. And the reason I can't play it is because of Thalia. She's actually taxing me. I had five mana, spent four on Blood Braid. If the Ardent Plea is to resolve, then I kind of have to pay the one. And whether I pay it or not, you know. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, Jay. Wait, Jay. Wait, Jay. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's not how that... Oh, no. One more to cast. Not one more or they get countered. Okay, so never mind. I did that correctly. Okay. So, fair enough. These get shuffled. And then these get shuffled. And then Bloodbraid swings for four. Hi, y'all. Okay. So... I got, I got a little bit punished for that, unfortunately, but such is life. The, the more correct play is that I had another card, the less risky play, I had another card in hand that I could have used. You may go. Do y'all have anything in the drawer?
tend your farm? Mm-hmm. Before combat. Okay. Uh-oh. Swords. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it's exiled. Super exiled. I'll go up three. Yeah. I'd do that before combat, so you're doing it four. Yep. Fair enough. That's that's correct. Pass turn. Uh, and the turn on one draw card. All right. Let's get our cycle on. Do, 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 do. Get the cycle on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Try my best to stay entertaining at dark 30. At 11.30, yikes. It's okay, I have a sneaking suspicion this is about to be over. Pretty soon. Three. Ooh, okay. 12. Um, pass turn, stop on upkeep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tap. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Flip green. Okay, okay. Not as bad as I thought that was going to be. Sulfur vent? Yep. Pastor. Alright, so I have Grixis and Naya right now. One of them is being eaten by Savage Knuckle Blade. Oh, no, 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 no. Sulfur Sandwich. Ooh. Okay. Ten? Uh, fast turn, stop on the key. Which one would you like to remain tapped? Uh, blue Red. Blue Red. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sulfur Vent is down. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Crystal Vein? Yep. AKA should be even stronghold. Ugh. I'm gonna beat myself up about that for a while. Not for any good reason though. And then I will pass the turn. Exactly what recruiter gets. I basically have one more turn to live. Okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Mm. There's a lot he could get. I can think of something oh, in particular. No. Yeah, in particular, something particular. Yeah, either sworn cannonist. Thank goodness he can't cast it yet. But again, I have one more turn. Now, granted, he spent all three mana there, so I'll get my lands. I'll get one more shot at it. Alright. And by our powers combined... Oh, once again, it being Crystal Vein instead of Eben Stronghold is going to potentially make a difference. Eben, I guess. Two? Okay. Two. Eben Stronghold. Alright. Come on. Yeah, it makes a difference. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Likewise. Okay, so after this you'll have to discard a card. Okay. If this were black, this would be different. But, alas, I am dumb. Um... I think you're actually the only card from my hand I can cast. So, if that's the case, we're gonna go one, two, blue, white, but we're actually going to end up floating red, red, colorless. Okay, so basically it's not like we float anything at all, because, you know, this deck uses a lot of red mana. Yeah. 
We're going to have another Ardent play. So if we ever get a creature, it's going to be huge. Okay. Remnant, dig, force of... Oh. Okay, so it would have made a tiny bit of a difference. Okay, yeah, so it didn't make much of a difference that I had Vane instead. Alright. You know the drill. We're gonna... I don't have any more lands. And you don't have any more creatures or lands. And that's there. And this is here. And you can shuffle it if you want, but it's all three cards. And we're just gonna put them back on the bottom. And then, since I haven't played a land yet, I'll play a Crystal Vane. And then I'll pass the turn. Ah, Good. okay. Go ahead. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, we're fine. Go ahead. Alright. I say fine. Wait a minute. Okay, no, 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 we're good. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up for that. Go ahead. I, I thought I made a mistake. I didn't. I didn't have the option. I would have liked the option to make that mistake. I have a whole lot of colorless mana right now. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. If you already have Batter Skull down, I think Jute is it. Ah. Noisy pets. I just can't remember if I played a Batter Skull or not. It was too many. Right. Or not, Mr. Misty. Or not a Batter Skull. Jute. Uh, Hurt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Misty. Yeah. I, I like to think of Stoneforge Mystic as either Misty or Evangeline. She's T1 Stoneforge Mystic. The game that she was, that I played before she was born, I got a Stoneforge Mystic on turn one. Not with this deck. This this was a deck that had Gemstone Caverns in it. Yeah. It does not anymore, this current one. I really ought to, just for that sentimentality, just for the the fact that I once did. Infertile. Yep. Go ahead. Probably game. Go ahead. Over to you. All right. So if that had been an even, uh, an Eben, uh, what is it, Eben Vein? No. If that had been an Ebon Stronghold instead of a Crystal Vein, I could have gone to my reality into a Cathari Remnant. It wouldn't have made much of a difference, it may not have made any difference at all, but that's a thing. So, that's unfortunate. So double shard this Blood Braid, triple deny reality, and a Force of Will. Yeah. Good games. Good games. And another Shardless Agent on top. So I will fix this deck. It is broken, and not broken as in too strong, broken as in I have not built it correctly. And then I will come back for some more. For s I am a glutton for punishment, apparently. And I'll see if I can get a little bit more uh, fight on for you next time. Till then, woo!